All right, let's go, Angie. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'll be leaving for three years on my first pilgrimage away from the island. It'll be okay. Many mysterious miracles await me here. At least that is what Atua says. All right, today is the summer sports festival. You are going to participate in the scavenger hunt. <laughs> Looking for treasure chests once again, Angie? There are three cards in front of you. Which one is Atua telling you to pick? Okay, you may rely on the right card, the middle card, the left card. Mm, let's go with the middle card. Uh, hmm, someone who's like a small animal. Since Imigo is in the same scavenger hunt. Yahoo! Okay, Chihiro, let's go. Atua has chosen you to join me. Okay. Huh? Oh, wait. Atua? Huh? Uh, um. <laughs> Um, um, religion is complicated, so I don't really understand, but, um, what should I do? It'll be okay. Don't be afraid. You'll be fine as long as you follow me. Atua is a gentle god, watching over you like a doting father, Chihiro. Oh. But having a god like that watch over me is a little... You ran through the goal with Chihiro, though she seemed a little put off by it. She. Alright, well, I was actually about to start this one, but then I realized that I've actually done this one. I know that uh, Hyoko was uh, complimenting uh, Angie's art, and afterwards she realized how much of a cult freak Angie is. So, yeah, if you want to check this, this one, you can uh, check uh, Hyoko's run-through that I did, like, a couple of parts ago. It's in the playlist, so... How about it? And we've done this one too. <laughs> I know that uh, Angie is in Kurekyo's list from what I've gathered, like last time when we played Kurekyo. I'm, I mean, she was in the list too in the killing game, but. I do remember that we made like a list of who was worthy of uh, being a friend for Kurekyo's sister and who wasn't <laughs> when I did Kurekyo's um, run through. And Angie is definitely on the list once again. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> the two of them in the same room? That is not good. But yep, yeah, if you want to check this one out, it's in Kurekyo's run through. Sheesh, I do have to wonder how many repeats we're gonna have in this. We are definitely starting to have like a lot of repeats from now on, folks. So from now on, I'm probably gonna have to squeeze, squeeze in like four or five students per video, which is definitely gonna be good. And it is definitely gonna be economic. And we've definitely done this one too. <laughs> um, yeah, I do remember that that they were both talking about that too as well. And this, I've done this one in Himiko's run through. So, yep, you can check Himiko's run through for this particular event. <laughs> um, sheesh, how? It, okay, the next, the next two should definitely be like new ones. I don't remember any more events that we had with Angie. Or maybe there's like one more, I don't remember. But anyway, the next one should definitely be a new one. Let's see. Yo, yo, yo! Ah, there you go. Okay. Now we have a new one. Oh, hey, Angie. Thanks for coming. Listen carefully, because today I've got a business plan that will be perfect for you. Huh? Huh? Business plan? Oh, me, oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Atua says to spit it out already. <laughs> Did he actually say that? Man, he's pretty direct. He's uh, pretty straightforward and up to business. Spit it out already! It's not like some occult All right, mystery. listen up. This business plan is perfect. You don't even need to do anything different for it. You just gotta keep doing your creative stuff and listening to Atua like normal. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then, and then... 
Actually, all I want you to do is do your prayers and stuff at the dojo. At the dojo. Uh, dojo, huh? You mean where Teko and Peko are always training? Well, yeah, that's the place. I want to record your prayers and sell CDs of them. Why at the dojo, though? If I do that, you'll get more followers and I'll get more cash. I see, I see. I see, I see. That sounds simple enough. It'll make us both happy. Okay, well, I guess uh, I guess Angie has uh, no... Has no complaint about it. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, right? And then we're gonna end the event right there. There's <laughs> like no conflict or any any twist there whatsoever. Cause Atua says so. Yes, yes. Atua praises you, Hiro. Spreading the word of Atua to the masses is very good. You know? So does that mean that we're good? No. Of course not. Cause Atua says I cannot do that. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> There's the twist. There you go. What? What? Huh? Why? I thought Atua was on board. Right to you. No, Atua just said it's good that you're always thinking so much. <laughs> wow. Huh? Huh? Really? I know. You have a lot of responsibilities, depth and people who don't take you seriously. And yet, you still work hard as ever. Atua knows. Wh wh what? Uh, I see. Atua sees right through me. It'll be okay. Atua sees how? Oh. Atua watches over you, like a beautiful mother of infinite patience. Oh, there you go. Now, and now she is uh, thinking of, uh, like, she's basically referencing Hiro's mother, who is the most important person in his life, for sure. Whoa! Hiroko. Atua is so helpful. <laughs> Do you want to pray? Yo. Yeah, I will. I'm so grateful to Atua. The two of you pray to Atua. <laughs> okay. Oh. Izuru. Hmm. Well, let's see how this one is gonna go. Huh? Huh? Hey, when did he get here? What? I don't believe we have ever spoken before. Did he come to pray to Atua? No. I would not come to the music room looking for someone who should be in the art room. I see. <laughs> Good point. Is my presence disturbing you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it does make me wonder though. Why is Angie here in the music room in the first place? Unless maybe she's finding this place really good for praying. Hmm. I thought I said the music room is rather dreary, and that I should decorate it. Oh, okay. So I was praying to see- Wait, 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 hold on, so decorate it? In what way? Are you even allowed to do that? Well, it kind of depends, let's see. So I was praying to see how I should arrange the decorations to best harmonize with music. That's... Decorations? These paintings and sculptures all over? Are these your doing? Oh, okay. Uh, I was thinking that she was actually going to do something to the music instruments, what would be bad, but yeah, as long as it's paintings and sculptures, that's yeah, good. Way, way good. As long as it doesn't, it doesn't scare everybody. <laughs> that's not right. I didn't create this artwork. Atua did from within me. So that's what you mean. Atua, huh? <laughs> Isn't it divine? If you're ever feeling unhappy or discouraged, you should pray to Atua. It'll be okay. Atua's words are never wrong. Atua says all, oh, and will save only those who believe. Hmm, you know, I, I, I probably would have a lot more to say about Atua and such, but then again, I'm not really a religious type, so I don't really have experience in commenting about religion, so I, don't, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what to say. Like, I could make some comparisons to Jesus, but... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I... I don't have... I... Eh. 
Hmm, so that's how you go about manipulating people into giving you what you want. Ooh. <laughs> and we are talking about Izuru here. Ugh. To get exactly what you want, just like you expect, that satisfies you? How boring. Aww. That's not very nice. You learned I was a twins ref, you know. Why, you'll even be punished across six generations. How boring. How boring. Even if that's true, I don't care. Today is the Fall School Festival. Your job was to make the Haunted House Exhibit. Haunted House Exhibit? Oh. Oof. Angie. Are you are you working with Correcchio on the same exhibit? Oh my god, why? Why? You really want lots of people to come. Why don't you talk to students as they walk by? Why, Angie? Why are you doing this to me? Uh, okay. Um, stop, you two. A two is, a two is summoning you. Toko, come inside. Come inside and meet all the ghosts. Hmm. You two? What is she? Who is she referring to? Atua has ah. spoken. Hina and the Sakura. Atua has spoken. Everyone should enter this haunted house. Huh? Atua? Huh. Your hometown must be exceptionally devout. So divine! Of course! Atua is always by my side. <laughs> it's so divine! Um, anyway, you just want you to go into the haunted house, right? Um... Oh, oh, what do you want to do, Sakura? The haunted house looks pretty interesting. So then... It does. Since it is a school festival, we should experience it for ourselves. Yaha! <laughs> now we're talking. I did all the interior decorations, but they're really intense. And then? So intense, they might make you faint. Just a second! Hey, don't say it like that. I really dislike that kind of stuff. I don't know if think she means any harm by it. She simply has a strange way of speaking. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> Two victims coming through. <laughs> Two victims coming through. <laughs> you escorted Sakura and Hina, who seemed exhausted already, into the haunted house. Oh boy. Well, you've done well nonetheless, Angie. You've succeeded in, uh, you've succeeded in sucking in more victims inside. <laughs> as long as Kurekui is not there, I'm good. Your last winter the Academy. Hibiko is going to perform a Christmas magic show! Hooray! After working since yesterday to make the set, it's nearly show time. What will you do? All right, well, uh, Ibiko, Aktua told me to check on you. Maybe I'll go get something to drink. Maybe I'll just watch from the audience. Here we go. Yoohoo. Ibiko, it's nearly show time. Oh, Himiko is not feeling well. She's, uh, <laughs> she's very anxious right now. Uh, this is it, the final show of the year. Huh? Hmm? So you're nervous. It'll be okay. Atua will help relax you. Cause Atua says so. You should listen to his voice. With my magic. No, I'm fine. I got nerves of steel. It's not my first time doing a show here. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. You've come a long way, Himiko. I suppose this is good progress on your part. Uh, yep. Yep, it's fine. You probably cannot feel Atua's embrace yet the way you are now, but... I'll still pray for you, Himiko. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's actually really, really good. That, that is really lovely, Angie. Mm. Um, thank you. What? Mm -hmm. Do you find that knowledge the greatness of Atua? No. No, I am grateful to you. I don't get Atua. I don't know why it is you worship him all the time. But you thinking about me is real. That's why I decided. 
Oh. There we go. Great, huh? You know, Tay Pay, I'll make today's show a success. Yep, that's the spirit. Here we go. Uh. Hmm, I see. I see. You see, Himiko is just fine after all. I saw you need. You watched Himiko put on a successful show for the audience. Alright, well. That's actually really lovely. I I like the way this uh, this has ended between Angie and uh, and Himiko. Angie is not gonna force Himiko into liking Atua, into converting her into her Atua religion. But instead, Atua is still gonna watch over her, while Himiko is still being Himiko. Thanks be to Atua. Atua is never wrong. These last three years are fun, just as he said they would be. And thus, Angie Onaga graduated from Hospi Academy. Hooray! I will do my best. No matter the place, as a maid, I must uphold my principle of selfless devotion. Alright, well, before we start, though, in that pathway of selfless devotion, Let's see about getting on that despair panel, shall we? Ah, uh, pretty close. Pretty damn close. As long as we can get like a one. As long as we can get a one. Alright, come on. I feel unlucky today. Yes! Ah. It, it doesn't feel as rewarding anymore. No, I just hate it once again. I hate landing on this. May I? Okay, well, we're gonna start with a new one. I know that there are gonna be some repeats here as well, but... Yep, that's good. Toko, do you have a moment? <laughs> but what? Are you going to clean me out of existence? Since I'm so dirty? No. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. I will never do that. I simply wanted to ask if you do your don I simply wanted to ask if you do your laundry. <laughs> okay, well, this is actually gonna be interesting. Given the fact that uh, Toko doesn't really take a bath, like, at all. <laughs> and... Her coats must be- must be stinking right now. And her clothes are stinking right now. I bet that Kirumi is gonna have some stuff to say about that. If you are too busy and do not have the time, then I can handle it. So, please let me know. Are you saying I'm smelling in a roundabout way? You want me to take a bath, don't you? Excuse me. I'm sure you are busy writing your novels, but please take care of your hygiene and health. I will do it. You'll feel refreshed after your shower. Perhaps I can wash your hair for you? <laughs> but what? You don't need to do that. I will grant your wishes. Is that so? If you have any requests for me, then please tell me. <laughs> ah! Are you feeling all right? Are, are you not feeling well, Toko? You don't need to follow me around. I never had anyone take care of me before, so this kind of thing is unsettling. My apologies. Oh, my apologies. I should have known another presence would distract you from your writing. If you desire. But shall I do your laundry when you are not here? What the heck? <laughs> There's no way of escaping this, Toko. No matter what, Kirumi is gonna do your laundry. So you better just accept it. Why don't you listen to me? I can do my own laundry! Jeez, is my smell bothering someone? That is... Toko, that... It is quite difficult for me to say, but... Basically, yeah. It is bothering a lot of people, so... <laughs> Kirumi is trying to help you here. I might be bothering someone, but... You're in a different class, so mind your own business! Ugh... Okay, well, I guess so. <laughs> Our mission today have, has failed, Kirumi, in uh, trying to help Togo. But maybe one day we can see that glimpse of hope. Hmm. Okay, I think I remember this setup. Uh, <laughs> Ryoma is noticing a cat at the gate. And then it runs when uh, Peko and uh, Kirumi come in. And so they start the mission of finding that cat, isn't it? 
Yeah. It has to be it. So, if you want to see this particular event, you can check Kuriyoma's run through. It's in the playlist. So, yep. It is actually a really good one, I must say. Today is the sports festival. Your team has requested that you win the relay race. Man, th this song. In order to fulfill the request, which runner should you be? I'll support everyone as the first runner, the middle, the anchor. I... I've gotten this question before. With uh, somebody. Actually, hold on a second. Yeah, I got the I got this with uh, somebody else. Now I don't remember who, but what I I do have to wonder about this about this type of race. What the, what difference does it make if you are the first, the middle, or the or the last one? I do have to wonder. Eh. I guess we're gonna go with uh, <laughs> with uh, the last one. I will do it. We will win if we continue being first place. If not, I shall pass the other teams. That was quite dangerous, but we somehow completed her quest. <laughs> I love that, um, even this is considered a quest in Kirumi's eyes. <laughs> Look at her smiling. <laughs> that we completed her quest. It's not like we won the race. We completed her quest. That is a sign of happiness for Kirumi. <laughs> oh, so Kirumi was my rival. A little bit more and I could have been first. And that sucks. Oh man. Kirumi actually beat Hinai at racing? That is... <laughs> oh, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised given the past experiences, but... Yeah, it is quite interesting, especially since we're, we're talking about Hina all year. No. There's no denying that Hina would be the best at swimming, that no one would ever beat her, but... Sh still, she is a sports type. She would be among the best in any type of sport. Especially running. You ran at amazing speed, Hina. We almost failed our request to win this race. You are able to finish in first place. Hmm? Byakuya? What do you think? Thank you for your patience, Byakuya. I have prepared your severe coffee and chiffon cake. That's fine. Not bad. You've impressed me. But before I enjoy this coffee, come on! I know you're there. I can feel your eyes on me. <laughs> taka 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 taka. Spying on Biakuya once again. Well, I guess I shouldn't be. Oh, nobody is surprised, of course. <laughs> it's expected from Master. You even accompanied. You're even accompanied by a servant. What the but you over there, don't get carried away just because you're a maid. Sheesh. <laughs> Are we actually gonna have a little bit of a story between the Kirumi and the uh, Toko over here? I mean, first we had that uh, moment when uh, Kirumi wanted to do Toko's laundry, and now Kirumi is gonna get in the way between Byakuya and Toko. Oh no! Even though Kirumi is probably not gonna have like any feelings towards Byakuya, unless. <laughs> oh God! What have I done? I've I've unintentionally created the ship. That makes zero sense. Why? <laughs> You're mistaken if you think you can care for Master every morning and all night long. I will grant your wishes. Taco, you should take a seat as well. Which do you prefer? English tea or coffee? <laughs> a cup of tea. Understood. Understood. Please give me a moment. <laughs> Wait, that's not it! How annoying. Hirumi, keep her away from me. May I? The dining hall is a common area, Piao Piao. If you wish to spend time in a more private area, then I may make a suggestion. Then may I make a suggestion? I admit nothing! You're going to disobey Master's orders, even though you're just a maid? Throw me out already! That uh, Wait, what? What did, what did you say? Throw me out already? I do not agree. <laughs> um, I, I think that's counterproductive when it comes to trying to be with Byakuya over here if you want to be thrown away by <laughs> by Kirumi. It should be the opposite way around. I'm only offering advice, because I thought that would benefit Byakuya the most. Assertive decisions are necessary, 
but it is not wise to ignore the emotions of those around him. I see. Hmm. I guess it's worth considering. M Master is going to listen to someone else's advice? <laughs> well, gee, that is a surprise. Hmm. Kirumi is not my equal. No one is. Still, she is a rare individual with superior skills. She is a servant worthy of the Togami Corporation. I will at least listen to her advice. Yeah, it makes sense. As expected from Master, he truly is the first son of a noble family. <laughs> well, Celeste, how was your lunch today? This is fine. It was excellent. Terry, ter, your cooking skills are quite divine. May I? Celeste, I have brought you your afternoon tea. Well, my, thank you. Your real milk tea is simply the best I have ever tasted, Kirumi. Hmm. Ah, this is a bliss. If only you two weren't a female or a Terteru. I would have you two serve at my future castle, but... Why? Huh? What's wrong with Blue or me? Are you okay with if this? If you cannot comprehend that, then your rank will never go up. Huh? M my rank? <laughs> oh yeah, I... Now I remember. Celeste uh, is always giving people ranks and such. Why, I assign everyone a rank. Terry, Terry, your pieces are at an A rank, but you are barely an E, slightly above an F. <laughs> Probably in the same rank as Hifumi. Impossible! Did that bad? If gender is a concern of yours, then perhaps would you prefer a butler, Celeste? Yes, indeed. Yes, but I understand that there are few who are as talented as you, Kirumi. Are you okay with However, this? However, I decided to be served by only handsome men. That is simply non-negotiable. <laughs> by handsome men. Then. In that case, I know a superb butler agency. If you would like, I can refer to them to you. Well... My. It must be truly excellent butlers to be recommended by you. Hmm. Forget butlers. You'll never find a chef quite like me. Uh, I will work hard for, for you every day, Celeste. Even even hard for, and even harder every night. Yeah, just... <laughs> don't get your hopes up, Teru Teru. You're never gonna get a chance at this. <laughs> this is why... Hey! I'll never accept you, you dumbass! <laughs> Shut at me more! Please refrain from shouting in the dining hall. Okay. Hmm. Scold me more. May I? All right. Well, I do believe we've done this one, given the fact that we have run Taro. Yeah. Huh? That's a shame. Oh, yeah, you're right. I must have caught it on something. Alright, well, as usual, Rantara's run through. Today is the school festival. Your work at the shop has finally settled your work at the shop has finally settled down. Others have requested you to visit their shops and exhibits. Where you will where will you head first? Hmm. Okay. The food stands in the courtyard, the juice stand. I was requested to visit the haunted house. No, thank you. Uh, food stands or juice stands? How about the? Uh, how about a drink, Kirumi? Hello there. Oh, <laughs> lucky, lucky. Hey there, Kirumi. I got you stopped by. What is it, Nagito? <laughs> do you want to nourish some more hope today? And you have chosen Kirumi to do so. Are you looking for one of the girls? Sorry, it's just me right now. I do not mind. I do not mind. I can come by again later. But first, can you recommend me an item? Yep. Sure thing. In just a minute. Mm. Mm. The ingredients I have are milk, soda, soy sauce, and um. Oh, that's strange. I do not have any hope drinks. How am I gonna be able to do this without hope drinks? Hmm. Are you feeling alright? Nagito, 
this is. Oh, there's some lard here too. If it's here, am I supposed to use it in drinks? Do you agree? Nagito, this is a juice stand, correct? Actually. <laughs> yeah, sorry for making you wait. Uh Honestly, I was just supposed to clean up. So I wasn't listening to how to make the drinks. <laughs> Nagito, what the fuck? <laughs> Wouldn't it make sense to not do that though? I mean, even if you don't know how to make drinks. Such despair. Oh. Okay, there you go. Um, if only I had a cell phone, I could look up recipes. Well, why don't you have a cell phone? I will do it. At your request, I can. Hold on a second. Is it just me, or am I noticing am I noticing something different when it comes to Kirumi Sprite? She has like a shadow, like on her eye. She has like a shadow on her face. Is that actually new, or have I not noticed that before? Huh. At your request, I can reset the menu so that it can provide proper beverages. I helped out that juice stand for a while. Okay, well, nothing too extreme over here coming from Nagito, so that's good. Even though apparently he is not good at making uh, at making drinks. Well, I I guess so. It, it does remind me of that one time in uh, Ultra Despair Girls where when he made like a, like a milkshake for the Warriors of Hope, and it was pretty darn bad. He made the, the murky milkshake. The one I remember. It was it was definitely something. Alright, yeah, that's Twin Thirty Academy. The monocups have suggested that you all clean the school. You will be especially busy today. Where will you start first? Okay, well. Let's see, Kirumi. Um, before that, the hallway seems to be noisy. After I clean the dining hall, I will bake. I need to buy some cleaning supplies first. Well, I guess, I guess we're gonna we're gonna see about this noise that is going on in the hallway. You want to fight? The head did you say? Oh, it's on. Got it. You have some nerve, bro. Let's debate this food! <laughs> May I? Alright, alright guys, what the fuck is going on over here? What is happening? I had assumed you two were quite amicable with each other. Stop fucking around! He's a guy I respect, so there's some shit I cannot let fly. You stay out of this. What the heck? Hey bro! I cannot order look you yelling at someone who's not even involved! In other words. Kirumi, it's just how it looks. I apologize. But could you leave us to settle this? Okay, well, see you guys. <laughs> no. No, this is my business as well. Do you mind hearing my advice? Okay. Why? What? What did you what? say? Excuse me. First, Taka, you are how Taka, you are a hall monitor, and I expect you to take command of this huge cleanup. Yeah, that is. Uh, you know, you do have a point over here. Taka is definitely the moral compass. He is with the whole. This is this is forbidden in the school environment or something like that. I don't even remember how it how it worked. But either way, he he is he wouldn't yell in the hallway like this. He he would do he definitely do this somewhere else with Mondo, not here. So Taka should know better. I understand you may have forgotten your duties when you were distracted. You will regret it if you do not take care of the problem. So please be rational. Yeah. It's just as you say. What do you think? And Mondo, you should already be aware of how much Taka takes pride in his duties. Even if you do lose patience with him, you two have already accepted each other as brothers. If that is the case, then you should help Taka. Yeah. And shouldn't tarnish his bro's pride. How unfortunate. Hiromi, I'm sorry. Since I've forgotten myself, I forgot myself there for a moment. Sorry. Sorry, I yelled. I do not agree. Please accept my apology for overstepping my boundaries. I sincerely hope that I can help mediate this dispute. Well, well that's good. You actually, you actually solved this nonetheless, Kirumi, which is good. 
That's very, very lovely. Bro, let's cool our heads and calmly talk this over. Oh, yeah. This sucks. You don't gotta be so proper. I forgot why we were fighting anyway. Oh, bro! <laughs> and then the two hug each other. You help the two reconcile with each other and clean the hallway. Alright, well, mission accomplished, Kirumi. Or should I say, the request has been fulfilled. I was able to grow as a maid in the last three years. I'll serve with even more devotion now. And thus, Kirumi Tojo graduated from Hospia Academy. Hooray! Let's go, Ibuki! She's the ultimate musician! Ibuki Miyoda will make her solo debut! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Indeed. <laughs> okay, um, here we have Ibuki, uh, Kaede, and Sayaka, and I do remember doing this particular event. This was a fun one. They are talking about, in, in this one, they are talking about the idea of uh, making a concert together. <laughs> Given that they're all musically talented. So, if you want to check this particular event, it's uh, in Kaede's uh, run through. It's in the playlist. So, yep, I do, I do recommend this one. It is a fun one. Hmm? Oh! Oh! Why the fuck am I? <laughs> ah, Ibuki. <laughs> Ibuki, what the fuck did you just do? That you would end up in the... Like the... In like the doctor's room. <laughs> I'm glad you're awake. Huh? Huh? Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> uh, Ibuki? <laughs> you're Mikan! Mikan Tsumiki! What? Um... Oh, I guess she was scared that uh, Ibuki lost her memory or something like that. <laughs> that she was damaged in the brain area. Oh, that is debatable, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I think that she's fine. Um, I think I get what is going on now. I'm in the infirmary and I'm Ibuki Miyoda. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. My memories before this are a little fuzzy. I remember getting hyped up and climbing a tree. Um, I you think you fell off a tree? Sakura found you as she passed by and brought you here. What the? What? Sakura is so kind. I'll bring her some of my homemade cooking as a thank you. You, you are good at uh, cooking, Ibuki. Um. um. I do have to. Well, I have to wonder why. What is her specialty? Ibuki, do you feel any nausea? Does any part of your body feel tingly? No problemo. <laughs> I feel a okay. I feel a okay, and my mood's excellent. Sorry about that. Mm. Yeah, that's a relief. Well, um, Ibuki, it's fine that you want to spend some time alone. I know this is a presumptuous of me to say. But if something like this happens again, and no one finds you... <laughs> that will be a problem. That should be a huge problem. Got it. I'll be careful then. Especially since you saved me and gave me a warning. No! So please don't be sad. Although you're pretty cute when you make that face. Well, I better make sure that that doesn't happen again, Ibuki. <laughs> at, least, at least have somebody as your safety net. When you do that sort of stuff. Today is the Summer Sports Festival. Whether it's headbanging or tree climbing, bring it on. <laughs> hey, Boki, don't you forget what uh, Mikan told you before about the about the tree climbing. But most important of all, cheering. Well, uh, where will you perform your fight song? Mm, place with a psychedelic vibe, a pop vibe, a punk vibe. I feel like these are. I feel like these are the music genres that were made for each of the Danganronpa main games, <laughs> wasn't it? Like the first game Danganronpa was one of these. Like the second one was pop.
pop maybe psychedelic I don't remember I I don't know I I'm I'm not into I don't know much about music and stuff I don't even I don't even I wouldn't even be able to tell you the difference between all these but eh, let's go with a pop one hello hello who's my hero yeah it's just like a cute tiny mascot animal um okay hello there um what's going on yes you came to cheat oh cheat on i'll support you with all my might so you can work hard they won't let me bring my guitar but i can still head bang and shuffle you Yeah, well, at least you're resourceful, Ibuki. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you. I'm not very good at this kind of thing, but your cheering will help me. Really help me. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's get pumped up. All right. You head bang while cheering for Chihiro. Um. All right. Um. Well, here we have Yoko. And I believe this is the event where Ibuki is giving Hyoko uh, the CD with her with her newest song, and uh, Hyoko is complimenting her music and all. Let's see. What is it? <laughs> yeah, severe as ever. Yeah, it, it's like I said, Ibuki is uh, giving uh, Hyoko a, a CD of her newest song. I've done this one before, so if you want to check this one out, it's in Hyoko's run through. It's in the playlist. Woo! Yes! Yo! Oh, Ibuki, hey! Uh, what's up, Leon? Yes! Hey, that's me, Ibuki! Hey, listen! <laughs> I wanted to talk to. I wanted to talk with you at least once. Oh my my! Woo! And what business does Leon, the ultimate baseball star, have with me? Probably something music related, I bet. Huh? Forget about baseball. I'm gonna explode onto the stage as a musician. Ah! Huh? You know how to play an instrument, Leon? <laughs> okay, well, I guess this would be one of the events that would be obvious that they would make. It would make sense that uh, to make such an event like this where Leon wants to be an ultimate position, even though he still has feelings for being an ultimate baseball star and all. And we, here we have Ibuki, who is the ultimate position herself. So let's see what uh, let's see where this is gonna end us. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be vocals. Um, hmm. You know about writing lyrics and composing? I mean, seriously? Not really. I'm gonna have one of my other members do that pain in the ass stuff. Eh? Eh? Wow, so does that mean you already have band members ready to go on stage with you? Um, you probably should question uh, Leon's attitude towards what uh, he said. Like his last sentence. The way he said it was all pain in the ass, but... <laughs> eh. You would be more surprised about the fact that he already has band members. Even though... One would question if uh, those band members are good at singing in the first place as well or anything like that you know what i mean that's what i'm recruiting people for right now that's what i'm rec that's what i'm recruiting people for right now okay so ibuki you want to join my band nah i don't know <gasps> huh? your guitar right well i don't have any instruments yet so anything's fine me and the former star Ibuki, the both of us will get a lot, of, a lot of attention from our debut. Former star, you say, eh? And our friends probably won't overlap, so I'll let it slide if you stand out a little. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, son. If there is one, if there is somebody who is going to overlap the other, it is going to be Ibuki, that's for sure. So it's probably not even a good idea in the first place to have Ibuki in your in your band in the first place. <laughs> she would totally be the star. Uh, uh, I don't even want to have a face with this. I've never felt this I'm pumped before. I've never felt this I'm pumped up. Hmm? Why you? Not bad, Leon. Not bad. Yeah! Then you're gonna be the guitarist for my band, right? Nah, I don't think that she's referring to that, Leon. 
no. Not even if you paid me a million, a penny, or a kajillion dollars. And that settles it. <laughs> God damn it. And there's Monokuma right over here. Hello! Oh. Tsumogi. Hello, Tsumogi. Are you here? What's wrong? I'm sitting here. Did you need something, Ibuki? Um... Um, well, to be honest, I forgot my sewing kit. Uh, I didn't finish my costume yet for next week's show. And I want to see you on my break. I see. I see. So you figured I'd have a sewing kit on me. Emergency! Ding dong, you're right. I mean, real shit. You have one, please let me borrow it. I'll give you tickets to my concert this weekend as, uh, as thanks. Uh, sorry. I have a cosplay event this weekend. You can still borrow my sewing kit. You do the same if I needed help. Alright, well, that's wonderful. We got our sewing kit. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goddess! I'll never forget what you've done for me! I'll even write a new song about it! Do you really need to? Actually. Wait, did you make the outfit you wear on stage all by yourself, Ibuki? And yay! I am an awesome seamstress! And I can make a killer beef and potato stew too! <laughs> Your girl power lives on through the roof! My girl power scooters. scooter. scooter what? My, my girl power scooters. scout. Is she making a Dragon Ball reference over here? I don't know. My girl power scouter's going to break. Huh? Huh? Aren't you skilled at swing too, though? Oh. Uh, I'm pretty good at it. As a cosplayer, I deal with more than just fabrics, though. I see, I see. Hmm, that's a knot. My fashion is a deep labyrinth that goes every which way. I guess. We've only begun our descent. Down the infinitely deep slope that is fashion. Today is the school festival you've been waiting for. Of course, you'll do a concert. But you've still got some time before the show. Why not check out the other events for now? Okay, uh... Hiyoko's doing a haunted house? Nah... Uh, why is it... Why is it that people are so interested in the haunted house lately? He may end up becoming the best haunted house ever, but... Eh, I'm still gonna have my doubts. My hero's doing a photo exhibit. That could be good. You cannot do a concert on an empty stomach. Where there's an empty stomach, obviously there's gonna be Akane there, so I don't feel like talking to Akane, honestly. Uh, let's go to the photo exhibit. Hello! Alright. <laughs> I was thinking that I was gonna meet uh, Mahiro over here, but hey! What's up, Maki? Good putting me! That's a combination of good money and putting me! Ah! Well, that's a lovely new combination of words there. Is that so? Go ahead. If you here to look at the photo at the exhibit, then look quietly. Huh? Hey, it's Monkey! Are you a helper for the photo exhibit? That's right. Yes, but I'm just a receptionist. If you need Mahiru, she'll be back soon. Ah, oh, there you go, there's, a, there's another um, connection over here, made. I do remember that uh, uh, Maki did something related to photos when we did her run-through. And I think that... Teruteru came over here with food and such and and uh, he was doing something fishy and so he had to replace his food because obviously it was something there was something dirty with the food going on unless I remember cor unless I remember wrongly but that's but I think that's what it is yeah I, I do remember that uh, Maki had something to do with photos with the photo exhibit with Mahiro so yeah there's another hey, connection hey! Daddy, daddy. But, 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 but since you're here, I'm gonna play with you. Hey, Maki! Hey, Maki! Maki! Hey! You wanna have a headband competition with me? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the point. <laughs> cut down by merciless words! I need to cut some albums myself. Hey. If you're not going to look at the exhibit, then please leave. Hold on a sec! No, 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 no. I'm totally gonna look. My hair's photos might give me some lyrical inspiration. He quietly gazed up upon the photo exhibit for a little while. 
And when you when and when you say a little while, you mean ten seconds, because <laughs> there's no way that Ibuki can be silent for more than ten seconds. Hell, not even five seconds. <laughs> Last winter, the Academy! Today's your Christmas party with your classmates! Well, it, it does seem that um, uh, with uh, Class 78, with the students of Danganronpa 2, in, like, in the last year when we have Christmas, there's we're always going to be connected to the party, to the Christmas party, it seems, from what I have noticed. Your heart is already partying and you're as psyched up as you can possibly be. But the actual party won't start for a while. You cannot stay still. What do you do? Hmm. Scream Merry Christmas right now. Okay, I, I, for a second I thought that I thought that was gonna say meow. Scream Merry Christmas right now. Share my overflowing energy with someone. Head to the party venue right away. Hmm. I don't know. Um. I don't know, let's uh, share this overflowing energy with someone. Who's gonna be the lucky one? <laughs> Hello! Ah, Kaede. What's up? Kaede, Kaede! I got to share my energy with you before you get on stage. Because today is the commemorative first collab. Because today is the commemorative first collab between Saki and Kaede. Ah, there you go. Okay, so we're connecting this to uh, their idea of uh, making the concert together. That's nice. Oh, Ibuki. Oh, even though you cannot make it to the hall, you're here to cheer me on instead. Ah! Well, of course! It's your and Sayaka's collaboration! Oh, okay. We're n okay, that, uh, this is something completely different. It's uh, Sayaka and Kaede's collaboration. That's completely different. Yahoo! There's no way I'd miss it! Yahoo! Huh? Huh? But I thought your class was having a Christmas party tonight. I'll go max speed to the concert, and then back to the party at lightning sp at lightning speed. <laughs> I might miss it when they break out the cake, but I'm just gonna check this concert out. I see. Mm, I see. Thank you. All right, you guys are gonna get the best performance today. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna headbang it real hard. Um. Um. You probably shouldn't get that excited. The main piece is a piano ballad. With more exciting plans ahead of you, you manage to get even more pumped up. Huh? What? It's already over? If this was a concert, I'd be screaming encore! <laughs> but fine, I guess it's time for the next show. This isn't the end, right? You're damn right! And thus, Ibuki Miyola graduated from Hospi Academy. Ipikaye! Sweet potatoes! Alright, Chucky. Mm. Mm. Feeling really, really sleepy. The ultimate gamer, huh? No matter what I am, I just need to play the games I like, but... Oh, I wonder if there's anyone here who will play games with me. That's nice too, right? Yeah, that is lovely, Chucky. Mm. Man, I'm feeling really, really sleepy. I mean, I woke up like 20 minutes ago, but I'm still yawning. Like, I'm still yawning like Chiaki over here. And I got like eight hours of sleep. I mean, eh, I don't know. Hopefully, I will. Uh, hopefully, I will wake up through this. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna fall here asleep. Yeah. All right. Come on, wake, wake, wake yourself up. Wake yourself up. Try to land on the despair panel. That will surely wake me up good. Yeah, there you go. Okay. God, I hate you, despair panel. What the fuck? Oh wow, yeah, totally. This will totally wake me up. Yeah, look at that. Look at that despair crap. Look at that despair crap that I that I hate. 
that I hate with a passion. All right. Hey. Oh, Biakuya and Usami. <laughs> okay. Hey, good morning, Biakuya. You're looking well as ever today. Come on. I've been pondering it for some time, but what on earth are you? Uh. <laughs> hmm? Eh? What do you mean, what am I? Hmm. Your true identity. The reason behind your existence. Why are you at this academy? <laughs> um, Biakuya, I think that's a little bit complicated. What with this alternate universe thing. A lot of things don't make sense in this academy at this point. For example, how come Hajime and Izuru exist at the same time? Stuff like that. <laughs> you pro I, I know that you're the type who would question everything because you're the ultimate... Because you're the ultimate affluent prodigy. You're the king of the universe, that's right. <laughs> but there are some stuff that are not worth questioning, yeah, we have. I'm just saying. I'm Usami. I'm, I'm Usami. Magic of Miracle Girl Usami. I'm here to teach everyone. That's enough. I'm not interested in that stupid story. Um, um I don't know how to respond to that. Well? Alright, Biakuya, just... Just, it's not... You... Okay, what should I say over here? Just... Just... Ignore Usami. No, no. Usami might say some weird stuff from time to time, but she's sincere. Oh, good morning, Biakuya. Are you interfering with people in other classes now, too? You're quite a busy class rep. Mm. Mm. No, no, I'm in a different class right now. It doesn't matter. Ta-da! Yeah, if you're so curious about me, maybe you should have a nice chat sometime. A student teacher conference to, must to foster mutual understanding between the two of us. Not possible. I decline. I've had enough of you and those these stupid monocubs. Why are there so many damn plush animals running around here anyway? Beats me. I mean, if I'd known this was such a dubious place, I would have never come to the school. <laughs> and here you are, stuck with us, Yakuya, for three whole years. Enjoy the ride, you, you jerk. But still, I know this all might seem strange, but I think you're already used to it, Yakuya. See? Plus, the monocops help us from time to time. I have no desire to be held by some strange teddy bear. Everyone! Um, what about me? I'm helpful from time to time too, right? Right? Well? Oh, uh, 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 yeah, Maki. What's up? You're a, spe you're a preschool teacher, right, Maki? That's true. Well, sort of. Hey, hey. Then, do you play on any game consoles with the kids? Mmm. I don't think so. I think that Maki talked about this before, but I don't think that her. Eh. Orphanage allows game consoles. I think? Nope. No. At my orphanage, they don't allow any game consoles. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. I remembered correctly. Oh, I see. If that's the if that's the rule, then I guess you cannot do anything about it. Why? Why did you ask me that? See? I just thought maybe we could play some games together. Actually, hold on a second. Have we done have we done this before this one before? I mean, that might be the reason why I remembered that game consoles were not allowed at our orphanage. Because we we've, we've been with uh, Maki <laughs> in her run through and we we, we talked to Chiaki, didn't we? I assume you played with none of the cans, so you'll be good at fighting games. I see. Oh, that's why. Well, I gotta meet up to your expectations. Well? Then, do you want to play a game that I recommend together with me? What? Huh? Why? See? If the kids who take care of... If the kids who took care of ever have the opportunity to get a game console, 
then you can show them a few moons, and then see how cool you are. Yeah, now I remember this one. Wow, okay, I, I think I'm gonna blame myself for... for not waking up that well, that I still feel sleepy. That I didn't remember from the get-go, and only now I'm realizing this. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go through this. Yeah. What is it? yeah, it's already too late. So it's good to be good at games. That's right. For gamers and children, it is. You get a lot of respect. So what? I don't really care if I'm respected, though. Perhaps. But also, I think it'll be fun. It's never too late to start gaming. Okay, okay. If I feel like it. Alright, today is the Summer Sports Festival! You're going to do your best in the three-legged race! But it's your first time ever doing a three-legged race. What will you do? Trip and fall all the damn time? Um, let's work together, I'll quickly analyze the opponents. I need to prepare my protective gear. What protective gear? <laughs> Are you gonna come with uh, a knight armor of yourself? <laughs> um... Yeah, here's the thing, I, I actually never did like a three-legged race before, like ever. <laughs> I never had that sort of thing at my school. Um, yeah, let's see about this protective gear that Chucky is talking about. Um, oh, Kyoko. I need to tie the rope around our legs correctly. Huh? Uh, it's not working out. Hey. There's a trick to it. Watch. Ah. Oh, Kyoko. I see. In other words... You tie it tight, so that the legs are firmly together. That's what's need for... That's what's needed for competition. Thanks. Thanks. Got it. Alright, well. Thank you, Kyoko. If you're teaching this to your opponents, I wonder if a passionate riv rivalry will bloom. Oh... Hmm. <laughs> it's not trouble. And besides, I don't think we'll lose just from that little tip. I think... Yeah, you're definitely my rival. I think. I cannot lose. Yeah, the fun battle with Kyoko. <laughs> okay, well that was cute. Hello there. Oh. Oh, here we have Hajime. And you know what this means, folks. It's time for some more ship fuel. Oh, Hajime. You actually waited for me. Sorry for being late. No. No, don't worry about that. Did something happen? I heard something about home room. Hmm. Yeah, it was the usual. Akane and Nikomaru started their intense workouts during class. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I can picture that. The classroom must have been a mess. And that's just the usual for you? That kind of thing never happens in this reserve course. Yep. It's always chaotic, but it's fun. Although, I have to be careful no one breaks my game consoles during all the chaos. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Just put them in a chest somewhere so that nobody can, can find them. Um... That sounds pretty bad. I know that they want to rely on you too. Mm. No one really relies on me. But I help everyone, because I like them. I know. And that's why they rely on you. Well? I sure... I sure... Everyone relies on you too, Hajime. Huh? Me? See? Well, you know, Fuhiko seems to like you. And Yoko is pretty attached to you. Ever since he started talking to Nagito, I feel like he's been warming up to us. No? Huh? Ever since you started talking to Nagito, you feel like he's been going out to you? Oh, I guess. there, There's your um, ship fuel for Nagito x Hajime as well. That since he started talking to Hajime, he, he has uh, been acting very, very different. Mm. Ship fuel! Mm. Right? And Nika looks happy when you're there. That goes for everyone else, too. It's fine. That is already something different from... 
from the anime. I mean, I don't remember Hajime talking to anybody from the class. Because he was in the resort course. And the people around me are pretty unique. Maybe it's just easier for, for them to talk to me. At least from what I remember. Perhaps. It's more fun when you're there, Hajime. Uh, it's not like I, uh, it's not like I'm not having fun. That's... This is all because you brought us together, Chucky. If not for you, I never would have met him. You think so? Really? Huh? What? Perhaps. Even if I did nothing, I'm sure you would have met the others. And they rely on you like usual. What's up? Ch Chucky? Eh. <laughs> uh. Chucky? Are you... Eh, I don't want to bring it up. Just kidding. But that is really how I see everyone when they're around you, Hajime. Oh, yeah. When they're around me, huh? Sometimes I feel like more... Sometimes I feel more like I'm getting dragged along. So... That's it. That's all the game of tournament. And go out somewhere with everyone again. I cannot imagine hanging out with everyone without you there. Yeah. Yeah. Call me whenever. Hajime. Okay, so what kind of game should we play today? Puzzle? Fighting? Or do you want to try your hands on a rhythm game? <laughs> well, it depends. Do you have like an entire arcade? Like a giant arcade with you for rhythm? For, you know, like one of those uh, games where you use your feet to dance. Well then. Um, I did practice the fighting game from last week. Hey. I'm definitely more of a match for you now. What do you think? Yep. Oh, sounds good. I'm up for that challenge. Aww. Fih, the exams are finally over. I'm glad. It seems like everyone in class passed. That's good. Yeah, the headmaster seemed to really like the photos of my portfolio, so I'm glad. Um, hey, everyone! Thank you for your hard work! Hi! You too, Mikan. Great job! Thank you very much! <laughs> um, I know there are some people who had given up at the start of the exams. If you feel sick, then please don't hesitate to stop by my room. Yep. Yeah, when the time comes, I'll ask for your help. Yes! Okay! Oh yeah, how about we get our girls from our class and talk, while we bake and drink tea? That would be really lovely. Except for the fact that I'm not invited, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. Mika said there were some people cramming for exams, so this might be a nice change of pace. Hey, hey. Ah, that sounds nice. Let's hold a game tournament too. I bring lots of snacks. Mikan, have you ever baked before? Yes! Yes! Uh, I said well, yes without thinking. I'm actually not good at baking. I'm sorry! I'm uh, sorry I couldn't meet up to your expectations. Please forgive me! Alright, alright. Calm down there, Mikan. Um... You don't have to take it so seriously. And I'm very good at it either. Hmm. Then let's look, let's look up for some recipes and do something simple with everyone. Yeah, this is definitely referencing um, uh, that moment in Danganronpa 2, like the secret event where everybody baked. They were everybody, every girl was making, they, they, all the girls were making cookies. It'd be the same as looking up a guide before going up on a capture mission. All right. Okay then, I'll go invite everyone else. <laughs> well, Mikan, do you want to look up some recipes with me? Yes. Yes. I'll try my best to be useful. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> hey, hey. Alright. Now this one I do remember doing. With uh with Himiko and Tenko. And uh yeah, I uh, I did this first in Himiko's run through, and then I do remember that I got a repeat of this in Tenko's run through. So yep, we basically did, we basically got everyone over here. So yep, Himiko's run through. It's in the playlist. You can check it out. <laughs> All right, the school festival. Your exhibit is an arcade where everyone can play together. 
you have a visitor right away. What kind of game would you invite them to play? Let's see. Uh, shooting game, puzzle game, sports game. Um, I don't know. Could be anything. But what do I feel like playing? Sports? Nah, I've never been a passionate for sports. I've never been a fan for sports games. They're all the same to me. Puzzle or shooting? Puzzle or shooting? I'm definitely gonna go with a puzzle. You for me, so I because that's how I am. I'm coming in. Is Vesta here? The, uh, uh, Joe? Why? Why? Are, uh, I guess so. Is your master over here as well? I get a puzzle. We're talking about the sexy kind, like a jumble of naked limbs. Um. Ch ch jumble of naked. What? Huh? Taco? Uh, uh, Genocide Jack? Mm, totally not oh, adorable. just some game room. My master antenna was tingling, so I came here, but... <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Do any of these games have adorable boys in them? Sure, knock yourself up. <laughs> mm, are you talking about dating sims? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't set up any of those. They take too long to play anyway. I'm getting seriously excited! I mean, it's not like dating sims are really <laughs> good for playing in co-op in co or something like that to display them <laughs> to the general public. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. Ah, oh, come on. That's gonna pretty boy show up in other places too. And what you would call Otome games. Yeah, I don't really get it. It sounds complicated. Send them is a strange place. You can get lost in it. Oh yes, definitely. I am still being cautious about it. Yep. Yeah, I can tell that by looking at you. You can play the puzzle game. Ah, oh, damn it! Thank you, Genocide Joe. All right, Christmas party time. You're toasting with juice. Eating cake and snacks, playing games, it's very lively. So, what will you do now? Hmm. Hajime, Nagito. Uh, I forgot something in my room. Well, what did you forget? I'm curious. <laughs> what did you forget? What did you forget? Chucky! You. Oh, uh, Kyoko. Oh, I didn't expect to run into you. Did you forget something in the dorms? Yep. Oh, I guess I should have known you'd be able to figure that out all at glance, Kyoko. So... It was simple. You're having a party today, and you're the class rep in charge. You should be in the dining hall, but because you aren't... Perhaps... You probably even know what you... You probably even know what it I was I forgot, huh? Uh... <laughs> well, let's see, Kyoko. It's true. A present for someone. That's the only thing that you will leave in the middle of a party to go get. Mm -hmm, you don't know. I wouldn't say that is the only thing. Maybe she forgot a specific game that she wants to play with everyone else. That could be it too. That's right. Yeah, you're completely right. Aww. Forgetting to bring such an important present. It's a critical hit for it's a critical hit of regret. But I'm glad I remembered it now. I want to give it to them today. Hey, hey. I hope they like it. It's a bunch of my most recommended games. Indeed. Oh. So it's not just a present, but also a game that I can play... That she can play with everyone else. Like, right there. Okay, well, that settles what I was thinking about. Kyoko was indeed right. <laughs> You're right. You put a lot of thought into it. I'm sure that they'll love it. You promised Kyoko you'll talk again later and run back to the party. Alright, well, see you later, Kyoko. Yep. I never find that I'm a little class rap, but it was fun. And thus, Chucky Nanami graduated from Hospi Academy. Yippee yay 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 yay! Alright. Hospi Academy. I finally hear. 
Well, this is only for the main course students. I'm... A project to cultivate hope. But I... Oh boy. Going through this again, eh? Oh. I guess so. Meanwhile, we shall have some fun for the three years without thinking about this whole hope crap and Project Izuru or whatever. So, let's start our year by landing on not the despair course, hopefully. Okay. Okay. As long as I do like another large move, I'm gonna end up avoiding that. What's up? Hey, you know, what's up? Ah, oh, good morning. You know, early. Oh, um, Hina, right? Out for a morning jog? Yeah! Yeah, it's Hina! I just got finished jogging. I got the good sweat today. Hmm. Okay, I'll well, get for you, Hina. Yeah, uh, um... I'm... Hajime. Hajime Hinata. That's right! Yeah, yeah, Hajime! <laughs> yeah, I, um... Hina is the type of person that forgets names easily. She writes her... she writes names on her palm, just like his brother. <laughs> just so that she won't forget that easily, the first times. I'm pretty sure you've introduced yourself before, but... Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot. Okay. Ah, but this time, I'll write your name on my hand three times. Then I'll write it for sure. Yep, there you go. No. Oh, don't worry about that. I am a reverse core... I am a reserve core student. You won't see me much. Oh, boy. There... Here we go, Hajime. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna have to see you self load quite a lot throughout this, aren't I? Huh? Oh, really? I thought you were classmates with like Kazuichi and Chiaki. I see you often enough in that class. Oh yeah. Well, we hang out outside of school. You got it! It's just like you blended in. Huh? Blended in? Yeah, so much that I thought you were their classmate. Yeah. Guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry for holding you up. Are you able to go somewhere? That's... Yeah, Gundam told me he wanted to show me an animal or something. Hmm. I see. So that's why you're up already. I guess animals do tend to wake up early. You really, you really do get along with everyone, Hajime. I never see Gundam around other people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm just being dragged along by strong personalities. You got it! <laughs> it must be fun to hang out with. Ah. I'm gonna run a bit more before class starts. See ya! And say hi to the animals for me. Alright, well, see you, Hina. Yeah. Sure thing, Hina. Hello there. Okay, <laughs> well, here we have uh, Chiaki and Hajime together once again, over here. We've already done this. <laughs> it's in the same video that you're watching. you are you already seen this. Today is the sports festival that hosts Pia Academy. You came to cheer for your friends. But the basketball team was short of person, so you were asked to join. Oh, that's sweet. Let's see, might as well give it my all. Honestly, I'm not so sure about this. You want me to join? Are you sure? You know what? You shall definitely give it your all, Hajime. Come on! Go out there! Oh, hey, Mondo. The other team has the open biker gang leader, Mondo Wada. His talent doesn't have to do with sports, but he looks like he'll be a tough opponent anyway. Yo. Hmm, <laughs> haven't seen your face before. Wait, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna kick your ass anyway. I'm... You guys may be ultimates, but you're not all athletes. I can still win. Hey, damn it! Uh, bring it on! This is a test of manliness. You had a heated battle in basketball. <laughs> Ajme, be careful! Do not get punched in the face by Mondo. He, he he tends to do that quite a lot, especially with protagonists. Alright, well, here we have uh, the trio, trio of uh, protagonists over here. I do remember doing this one, so. Switch is one through. There you have it. Hey. 
And I do remember this one too. I know that it starts with uh, uh, Hajime bringing some soda to uh, Ryoma. And afterwards, Ryoma starts giving Hajime some life lessons. I do remember this one, so you can check Ryoma's run through for this one. It's actually a really good one. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I guess so. Of course, we're gonna have like an event with uh, Hajime and Nagato together. I mean, yeah, there you have it. Ship fuel. Your ship fuel for Hajime X Nagito ship. I guess. To whatever your f whatever floats your boat. <laughs> oh, hey Nagito. Did our homeroom meant? Hajime. Yes, but what brings you all the way out here, Hajime? That's... I came to return the CD Mikan gave me. Oh, gave isn't quite right. She forced a mountain of CDs on me. I see. Mikan? Hmm, I see. Why? You know, despite your lack of an ultimate talent, you get along well with the others. Alright, well, let's see about this. Despite uh, all the shipping and such, uh, when it comes to the anime, I have I have never seen Hajime and Nagito interact with each other before Hajime became Izuru Kamakura. And given Nagito's mentality of his with hope and whatever and talent, I don't think uh, you would think that Nagito doesn't think that much of Hajime, given that he lacks any talent that he doesn't consider Hajime that worthy but eh, let's see but I'm terrified to be in the same class as all of them and I'm shameful it's fine eh, who cares it's my choice who I hang out with <laughs> oh, I guess I can understand that for me I yearn for who speak I'm drawn to that light of hope like a moth to a flame Okay, there you go. Here's here's his uh, Shakespearean uh, hopeism. No. Nagito, do you say this kind of stuff to everyone you meet? Huh? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> no. Nothing. It's just I don't really get it. It's exhausting trying to figure it out. Is it exhausting? I mean, at first it is, yeah, but once you, but once you figure out Nagito and all that, it, it not only does it get exhausting, but it gets annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you do look tired. You don't, you don't have to stay here and listen to me. You can leave me anytime you like. That's fine. Look, if I have a problem with me, you can leave me. That's not it. Oh. Well, oh damn. Oh, that's, don't, don't, oh, don't misunderstand. It's not that I don't like you, Hajime. I think I know what you want. You're even more mysterious than me. Jeez. We have these little talks. But uh, are you just trying to get close to main course students? Maybe so. Do you have any problem with that, Nagato? Hey! Hey, come on. You don't have to say it like I'm some kind of spy or something. Besides, that's not why I talk to you. It's because of what you said. I'm... I still don't understand it. But I know that I'm not going to just leave it at that. Nope. Ah. There's your ship fuel, ladies and gents, I guess. I see. Such courage, Hajime. <laughs> but courage in the hands of the powerless is called recklessness. Ugh. Mind your own business, Nagito. You're just trying to rob me up. Well... By the way, I saw Mikan staggering off, off toward the schoolyard after homeroom. What? Well, why didn't you tell me that first? Uh, okay, today is the main course's school festival. You were invited, so you tried to escape the room. Okay, well... I do, I do remember that we did this, like, once with Shuichi. 
I guess it is uh, Pajima's turn. Let's work hard and cooperate with the others. So, what do we do? I mean... I think that... I do remember that we actually worked together. Like, I chose an option with Shuichi and it was Hajime. We worked together to escape through this. So, I, I do have to wonder about this as well. I'll ask the reliable guy what he thinks. It's best for everyone to work together. There's something written on the wall. Uh, I don't know. Let's see about uh, the writing on the wall. Oh. Well, of course, we're gonna have Makoto as well. All three protagonists are here. Like, all... All three male protagonists are here, apparently. This has to be a clue, but maybe it's a red herring instead? It could be. You should consider all of our options. You're right. You're right. This whole room is suspicious, but I don't know if I'm thinking too hard or not. You're right. And you should be able to solve this if we work through everything together. <laughs> Sorry that I don't have any better advice. Well then. Yeah, I agree. Let's all talk to it over and let's talk it over and solve things one at a time. And thus, you work together with the others to solve the mystery. Hooray. Your last winter at the Academy. Today, you have been invited to Jackie's Christmas party. You still got some time before the party. How will you spend it? Hmm, let's see. Look around the schoolyard. Probably something in the dining hall. Running to someone in the dorms. Alright, well, let's see who is going to be the lucky one. Maybe there's probably something in the dining hall. What? What exactly? What's up? Oh, Fihiko and uh, Kazuichi. What's up, guys? Huh? I heard the girls were going to set up here, but you guys came too. Of course. Of course I'm here. I couldn't miss a chance to see Miss Sonia in the apron. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I just had some spare time, so I decided to help out. Ah. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I do remember uh, when I did the Fuhiko's run through, I actually chose to um, to go to the dining hall and help Peko <laughs> with the cleaning. At least that's how, that's how it went. Yeah, I do remember that. So, hey, and there is another connection over there. A very, a very complex, I don't say complex, but very intricate connection that you you can make if you, if you are lucky. Hey. All right, then I'll help too. I'll try to. You know, right? In that case, I mean, there's a favor I want to ask you. Yeah, yeah, you're asking Hajime to not go after Sonia. Got it. Your birthday is New Year's Day, right? Yeah. Yeah, but what about it? All right. Listen to Hajime. You did it for today is plan a birthday party and invite Sonia. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, we're still, we're still. I uh, I guess. I mean, I may. I made a good guess about it being related to Sonya, but I didn't think that it would be this. Eh. Huh? Huh? Why? Oh, isn't it obvious why? <laughs> Kazuichi is trying to use you to get to Sonya. Hey, hey! You're gonna make him plan his own birthday party? That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Hey! New Year's isn't a great excuse to have a party with your classmates, right? Awesome! But that's where Hajime's birthday comes in! Miss Sonia would definitely come to that. You know. So that's your motivation, huh? <laughs> of course it is. Oh, of course we'll celebrate your birthday too. We're soul friends after all. Getting to be with Miss Sonia on New Year's Day would be the best. Thanks for being born, Hajime. <laughs> wow, thanks for being born. That's a... That's a poor choice of words there. Oh, yeah. That's... Probably the worst birthday greeting I've ever got. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Anyway. Hey, Hajime. Invite Chiaki too. 
today's party was her idea, right? Actually, when we all get together, it's usually her idea. And that's why I want to invite her to something for a change. Okay. Fico, you... Huh? Hey, it wasn't my idea. Byakuya and Mahiro were the ones that said it. That... Byakuya? Ah, the imposter. Okay. <laughs> Takes me a second to register. Why Why would Byakuya invite... Why would Byakuya want this? No, we're talking about the imposter. Got it. Got it. And let's all get together on New Year's Eve. Oh. Alright! I'm already excited for next year. Engine's driving. Hey. But please tell everyone it was you guys who came up with this plan. <laughs> you talked about the New Year's birthday party. Before the Christmas party had, ev had even started. <laughs> Alright, well. This was nice. Even if I don't have any talents, I can leave this place with my head held high. And that's okay, right? And thus, Hajime Hinata graduated from Hospi Academy. Yep, yep! Yep, yep! Yep, Kaye! Amazing! For me to be invited to Hope's Peak as the ultimate lucky student, I must be really lucky! Perhaps? I wonder if I'll find it here. The hope that can overcome any despair. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm here because I'm keeping my eye on you. I don't want you to do anything stupid. Try not to make anything go boom. Try not to stop any event or exam or whatever. Stay away from concerts and Himiko's magic shows. Try not to get any anyone spelled. And stay the fuck away from Himiko. I'm saying. If he can do all that. If he can, if he can restrain your... Shlub dob hamalamba ding dong hope. If you can keep it in check, we're gonna be good. Oh, but I would have really loved to do all that in the name of hope. It would have been the stepping stone for hope to shine even brighter. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just get this stuff done already. What did I just tell you? What did I just fucking tell you, Nagito? Hey. And, uh, well, here we have Hajime. And I do remember that we've done this particular event. It's in the same video, too. You've already seen it with Hajime and Nagito doing their stuff. So, yep. This is troubling. Oh. Hey, Kokichi. And I do remember doing this one, too. I do remember that uh, Kokichi and Nagito were playing chess. So, if you want to check this particular event, it's in Kokichi's run room. It's in the playlist. He can check it out. Kokichi! Help me. <laughs> Just take me with you. I'd rather much be with you than this guy. I swear. Hello there. Okay, well here's a new one. Taka! Oh, good morning, Taka. What are you thinking? Good morning! It's already the afternoon! Don't tell me you're just getting to Don't get don't tell me you're just getting to school now! What? Oh, should I have said good day instead? <laughs> That's not a problem here, Nagato. <laughs> He's telling you that you're late. That's enough! That's not the issue! How could he have possibly been this late to square? How could he have been possibly been this late to <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is a unique uh, style of uh, voicing and all that, doing Taka. I have never voiced somebody like Taka before. But, my god, am I sometimes gonna have some problems talking like this? Like, talking so fast. How could he have possibly been this late to class? Jeez. Uh, about that, I went outside the academy yesterday evening to take care of something. Nagato? I hope, I hope to God you're not talking about any bombs! And I happen to get involved in a little hostage situation. You mean you were hostage, right? Please tell me they, that is the case. <clears throat> Ridiculous. But what? Man. Yeah, I was the hostage. It was pretty hectic. But anyway, I just got back now. Yeah, I mean, you are, you are a pretty lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Even if you are to take to be taken hostage, <clears throat> you would always come back. 
You are the lucky one. But why do you always get kidnapped, goddammit? What an outrageous experience! No good at all. <laughs> yeah, you are sort of a hassle. I see! I'll apologize for scolding you. I will reflect on my actions. Stop it. Don't worry about it. You are just doing your job as the ultimate moral compass, right? And let me guess, the next lines are gonna be of how... Of how Nagito considers himself trash. Let's see. Stopping... Stopping the dead talent from shining is impossible. You hear me? Hold on, there's one thing I want to correct. I'm not talented. I got where I am by putting in effort every day. That's weird. But... Huh? But you've been accepted as someone talented enough to be an ultimate, right? Okay, not yet, not yet. Let's see. That's wrong! That is because my repeated effort was evaluated and acknowledged. I was acknowledged as an ultimate for working hard. I want the world to work the same way. You don't know? You're going to change the world so that those who work hard can succeed. Okay, now I'm realizing this. This is actually... This is actually a pretty interesting event in the sense that we're talking about Nagito's mentalities when it comes to the talented ones and uh, Taka's mentality when it comes to those who work really, really hard to become who they are. It's, uh, instead of, uh, like, you know, being born with talent and such. <clears throat> so this is, pretty this is a pretty interesting encounter now that I think about it. From the perspective of scum like me, you're somewhere, you're someone with an amazing talent. Ah, oh, there you go, there's, there's the loathsome Nagito that I know, trashing yourself like that. <laughs> so you still value natural talent over hard work? Yeah, basically. Got it. However, it should be that those who work hard can win and those with talent are re aren't relied on. Amazing. Amazing. With your talent and your will. You'll create a world filled with hope! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no no response from Taka. <laughs> At all. Just drop it, dude. That's the that's the way he is. I'm starting to think we're not having the same discussion here. Nah. In Nagito's mind, he's definitely thinking that we're having the same discussion over here, but. It's just that you two are thinking differently about stuff. Um, Sorry, it's unforgivable for scum like me to waste a talented person time like that. Okay, trashing yourself once again. Let's go for a third one, shall we? Okay, today is the Summer Sports Festival. Your part is over, so now you can cheer for the Ultimates. Which event will you go to watch? Hmm... <laughs> Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll go cheer for soccer. The girls are playing volleyball. I wonder how boys basketball is going. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I really want to uh, Nagito to have anything to do with the girls. So, let's see. Let's see about... I don't know. Going with the boys over here? Just cheer for the boys? Playing basketball? I don't know. Or soccer? I guess. Ah, Nagito. Are you here to offer your support to the athletes? Yep. Yeah, since my race is over, I'm glad I made it in time for the soccer game. Say. It seems as though you enjoy observing the talents of others, yes? I'm surprised you'd come to cheer, despite there being no ultimate soccer player here. Hmm. I mean... From the students that I know, not really. I mean, Hina would be the closest, I guess. I don't know what sports she played before. She must have played a lot of sports. She must be pretty talented in a lot of things, but she is the closest to being pretty good at soccer, I guess. I don't know. Other than that, wasn't it that uh, Masaru Diamond from, uh, from Auto Despair Girls is talented in soccer? Yeah, I believe so, from what I remember. Well, I just want to see the moment you all shine as symbols of hope. Oh, wait, there you go. But being in an event not related to your talent isn't really what I call despair. <laughs> Ultimates can easily overcome something like that. I see. <laughs> I see. 
perhaps that is what one might call an expression of hope. For example, I may be able to use my observational skills to excel at soccer. It's obvious. That's exactly right. I knew you'd be able to think of something like that, Kyo. Sorry. Oh, sorry someone like me distracted you from the game. Do not worry. No, I do not mind. This was an intriguing conversation. Is it? I mean, at first, yeah, but soon after a while, you'd realize how much of a parrot Nagito is when it comes to his mentality of hope and despair. All aspects of humanity are beautiful. I am observing you with great interest as well. <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah, Nagito is far from your average student. <laughs> I'm glad that scum like me can be of use to someone like you, Kyo. Nagito, do you know any word other than scum? <laughs> I mean, uh, given how much you trash yourself quite a lot, quite often, you would think that you would have more words than just scum. You spend time watching Karakyo and the other soccer game. What's wrong? Mm, okay, we have Celeste and oh, okay, okay, this is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, well, here we have Nagito as the ultimate lucky student. We have Makoto as the ultimate lucky student as well. And we have Celeste, who is the ultimate gambler, who you would consider also an ultimate lucky stu- like, a very lucky student, given that we're talking about gambling, so... Hmm, okay. Oh, it's Celeste and Nagito. That's an interesting combo. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, that's Makoto. Okay, sorry. I thought that was Nagito. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it is an interesting combo. Hello there. Makoto, perfect timing. I was just about to go get you. <laughs> is this also a is this also a result of someone's luck? Although I assure which of yours it may be. What? Uh what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about Majong, Makoto. Do you enjoy playing it? Majong? I never played it. Hmm. <laughs> If I am to remember, I believe we played some games when we did Celeste's free time events. But I'm not really sure. That was a really long time ago. That's okay. Neither have I. Hey. I'm not sure what's going on, but are you saying you want us to play Mahjong? Indeed. Yes, I am. You two, who have the same lucky talent than I. Blessed with lucky, scam blessed with lucky gambling. Is that okay? I wonder which of us would win in a match. Are you not curious as well? <laughs> Celeste and I found the Mahjong set in game room. We're pretty lucky. What? Um, Celeste, you always win lots of money from gambling, right? I don't have anything I could give you when I lose. <laughs> I guess... I guess Makoto already knows the shtick when it comes to Celeste. No, <laughs> <laughs> I... You simply want to test our luck. I have no intention of betting any anything. I see. Not betting anything. Well, that's fine then. It'll be just a normal game. But I'm just a beginner at Mahjong. Is it okay for me to be your opponent, Celeste? Well, from what I have been told, Celeste has also played some games where she didn't know jack shit, and yet she still won. I mean, is it the same case for Mahjong as well? In which case, everybody here doesn't know jack shit about Mahjong. So, <laughs> it's really a matter of luck. And nothing else, I guess. <laughs> Even if you are a beginner, if you have Lady Luck by your side, it is still possible to win. Actually, you often claim to be unlucky, but I suspect you are, in fact, quite lucky indeed. Okay, let's... I feel like I've talked about this before. I mean, just because someone is called Ultimate, Luck Ultimate Lucky Student doesn't mean that all they have is good luck. They also have bad luck. Case in point, Nagito over here, who still has some shitty luck from time to time, and is counterbalanced by good luck. Makoto... It's a little bit subtle, I guess, but I, I cannot really explain it that well, nor do I remember that much. He is lucky, but he is also unlucky. It's just that in Nagito's case, that is a lot more apparent than in Makoto's case. So, yeah, he is also unlucky. If we're talking about luck, I think Nagito's luck is better. 
I'm usually unlucky. Perhaps someone like me won't win. So let's tell him that the ultimate gambler is way more amazing. <laughs> of course, I don't intend to lose. So let us begin immediately. But oh, but don't you usually play mahjong with four people? Who should be our fourth person? <laughs> eh, I prefer to stay away from this. Why don't we ask someone who will take great interest in the results of this match? Uh huh? Is there someone like that? This is fine. The headmaster. What? The the headmaster. Are you talking about G and Kirigiri? This is exciting. So I'll become the stepping stone Celeste can use to let her talent shine, right? Uh, Nagito, what the? F you're. We weren't even talking about this. Uh, this is fine. Then let us go. I look forward to seeing who will win. Thing against the headmaster. Yeah, hey, I, I don't know about this, guys. Hold on. Hold, oh, hold on, you two. The headmaster joined you, and the four of you played mahjong for quite some time. But before you could figure out who was luckiest, the headmaster lost. Pa pa the headmaster lost pathetically. Yeah. Ah, it must be a day ending in why? It must be a day ending in why? Because my cubs are so freaking cute. I can listen to them talk forever. They're so cute. I never wanted to stop. Mm. That's probably just because you're their father. My kids make me so happy. There's nothing better than spending time with my family. Um, I've been wondering for a while now, but do the monocoves have a mother? <sighs> I mean, it, dep it depends. Have you never played Danganronpa V3? That's bad. That's a personal question, don't you think? What do you ask an orphan if they have a mother? Well... Cause I would! In fact, I asked him that question on Christmas Eve! Hey. Typical you, Monokuma. Maybe I'll change my question then. Who's controlling you guys? Oh? Oh? Isn't that question even more personal? Have a little childlike wonder, right, don't ya? Nobody's inside the mascot suits at theme parks! But... It bothers me. There's no your there's no way robots like you guys just happen naturally. Just like how Kibo's father is Professor Idabashi. Someone must have made you. <laughs> Isn't it natural to think that way? Yeah, well you're right. But then again, Nagito, you probably shouldn't question the reality of this alternate universe over here, because a lot of things don't really make sense when it comes to this ultimate talent development plan alternate universe. It just doesn't make sense, so don't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> you just cannot help feeling so curious about us, huh? You're right. Well, of course. There's a robot here at the school, too. <laughs> oh, Kibo might get mad if you overheard this conversation, though. Hey, I'm... Well, since you're so interested, I guess I can tell you about my wife. She's a salmon. But I ended up eating her. But I ended up eating her. She was so delicious, but that's probably why my kids are so clingy. How unfortunate. Hmm. I guess you have no intention of telling me. Not at all, sucker! Alright, today is the school festival. A wonderful day where you can see everyone's talent shine. So, what will you do first? Alright, well, I guess so. I'll check out the show in the gym. No! I I don't know if that is Himiko's magic show or not, but I don't want I don't want Nagito to interact with her. Nonetheless, let's stay away from the gym. Maybe see the exhibits in the classroom. Maybe looking around it's fine, but I should help out. Nah, just 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 watch the exhibits in the classroom. Just just don't touch anything. Yo 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 Nagito, why don't come on here? Have your fortune told? You got money, right? Hey. Can your fortune telling see what kind of luck is in store for me? Yo! Leave it to me! I am right for this. I am right 30% of the time, after all. 30% of the time? All the time! Um. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> I'll pass. What? Huh? what? Why? I. 
Now that I think about it, there's no point in me knowing what will happen in the future. Actually, well, that's not true. If you got a good future ahead, you can try to make it your reality, you know. That's not it. I'll end up reaching a good future without any work, and there's no need to avoid bad futures. Huh? What do you mean? I'm lucky. Well, it's a crappy town, but I'm lucky. Even if I don't know what will happen, it's always a lucky ending for me. <laughs> oh, you are damn right about that, I guess. It's obvious. So, Hiro, you should use your talent to fill the world with hope. For serious? If you ask me to read your fortune, you could fill my pockets with hope. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. You politely refused any fortune telling. Yeah, I guess. You're last week to the academy. You're invited to a party by the symbols of hope. But if you like someone like you has no place at such a party, what do you do? I don't know, fucking know. Watch everyone from the corner. Okay, that's just sad. Come on. I'll see everyone's hopeful smiles up close. I'll watch that suspicious stuffed animal. Ah, Nagita, are you having fun? Hello there. Of course. I can see everyone having fun and full of hope. Hey, hey! Don't just watch. You wanna have a headbanging competition with me? Um... I'll pass. If I joined in, I'd just bring everyone down. Aww... You're still saying stuff like that? Even after three years? Yep. Still saying stuff like that, even after three years. Always the same, Nagito. Someone like me. Well, it's because I'm still worthless scum, and you're all still shiny beacons of hope. Unless the world turns upside down, that's never going to happen. That's never going to change. Um... Uh, is that so? It's obvious. No, there's no way hope would ever waver, even if the world turned upside down. If it's a strong enough hope, it will tear apart any despair. Uh, supposed to be used to this by now, but it still gives me a headache. I am concerned. I'm not sure how to respond to all that. My, my, what a problem. It seems like you talk too much and ruin the party for everyone. Really? That's it? No, like, nothing? Nothing that would challenge Nagito over here? It, it, it ended up exactly like what Nagito thought. Nothing that changed him and... <laughs> bringing everyone down because of him. <sighs> yeah, like I said, there's, there's no changing Nagito. Ever. Jeez. Nothing happened these last few years. And that's pretty unlucky, so... Great! That means there's good luck waiting for me from now on. And thus, Nagito Komaeda graduated from Hospi Academy. Yippee-ki-yay! I guess...